That's right, the Razer SX500. Woohoo! My God, check it out. We did we did so much work on this man. Nobody went this crazy. We got the fully custom Razer SX500. That's right. We ditched that old little 36 volt motor. Went with the old 500 volt two stroke gas mixing monster machine. Uh, if you haven't already checked this out, guys, this is my 1990 uh, CR500 build that I fully uh, restored from the frame, split the motor, all that. So if you're new to the channel and here just for the razor, maybe the gas ain't your thing, don't worry because we got you. That's right, we're going electric, baby. Oh, anyway, let me bring you behind a real curtain. This is really behind a curtain. So anyway, this is our uh, razor SX McGrath. I bought this at auction for, uh, I don't know, a little under 300 I think they're around like maybe 600 or more new. But anyway, this is a 2014 and this is the 500. And then I also picked this one up at auction recently. Uh, this was not running when I bought it. However, this one was. So anyway, what I did was I took the batteries out from the uh, 500 to the 650. Uh, this is about a 2012. And if you even go in here and check out, you can see right here, uh, the date on the battery is 2012 as well. So these were the three original batteries. Obviously, they're no good after uh, eight years. I mean, what do you expect? So anyway, this video, guys, we're going to be going in and we're going to convert this razor to 48 volts. But first, tonight, um, my first step, I want to go ahead and at least get a GPS on the top speed of the 650 with my stock three batteries. And then we're gonna put that back to the 500, see the top speed of that. Then we're gonna go ahead and jump this to the uh, 48 volt conversion, get a top speed of that. So we got these batteries all fully charged. We're gonna go ahead and take it for a, a speed run. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we got even tire pressure, says to run a 36 max but we're gonna go ahead and pump these bad boys up to like 40 pounds pressure and all four tires so that way we know uh one isn't running faster than the other just because of a different tire pressure So we're real quick going to show you the uh, test run from a stop to top speed on the stock batteries. This is the 650. So the little um, GPS speedometer seems to be working pretty good, I'd say. It seems like it's uh, responding quick. And uh, we're not getting above 15 miles an hour. Uh, maybe these batteries don't have the... Uh, that much life left in them. But like I said, I definitely hopped it up. I actually went to 45 PSI in these tires. So uh, I weigh about 170 pounds. So um, from what I've seen in the other videos, they were getting about 17 miles an hour. And we're only topping out at uh, 15. So who knows, maybe this motor's no good. Maybe the batteries are no good. That's why we're gonna go ahead next. Uh, take these three batteries, put them back in the 500 and uh, let's see what top speed we can get out of that thing. Oh, I've seen 16, uh-oh, I've seen 16 miles an hour. <laughs> so a couple things you might notice as I switch these batteries over, you can see on the silver frame bike, it doesn't have that goofy battery tray. They simply just mount battery on top of the other batteries. On the red frame bike, that's the 650. Uh, the frame sits a little bit taller and you got that goofy battery tray in your way. So if you're going with the 48 volt conversion, you're gonna to have to add another battery in there. Uh, if you want, you can easily cut that out. It's something I'll be doing in my next video where we go with the brushless motor. Again, if you're doing 48 volts, you're gonna need a different charger and you'll see that in this video as well. But man, guys, grab a hacksaw, sawzall, offset grinder. I mean, you name it, you can cut that out in a couple seconds. All right, guys, here we go. I got the uh, batteries fully charged. And now we're on the 500 top speed run. Here we go. Again, also with these tires, I'm running uh, 45 pounds right now. Oh, we hit 16.5, 16.9. Whoa. So we're getting maybe a little bit faster on this bike. It does seem like it will get up to speed. I see 17. 
uh, it does seem like it will get up to speed a little bit quicker than the 650. Uh, maybe that's because the motor's a little bit older, because the 650, again, is supposed to have a 650 watt motor, and it's supposed to be a 500 watt motor, but it almost seems like we got a little bit better go on the 500. So next we're gonna head back to the house, and we're gonna take our 650 and uh, stack our batteries and run it at uh, 48 volts. All right, now that we know uh, both of our top speeds on these bikes, we're going to go ahead and start amping them up. Uh, I got my fourth battery just in here temporarily. Uh, again, this is the stock motor, so we're going to see how it reacts with the stock controller and everything on uh, 48 volts. So we got our batteries just thrown in there all ugly, but anyway, we're going to cut up these wires. This is something super simple. I didn't want to bore you guys, so I threw it on time lapse. You'll see I picked up a couple different style connectors. Uh, for the battery terminals and then that's like a quick inline connector that you can uh, shrink wrap again i didn't solder any of this um and you really don't need to but i will be soldering stuff when i do the uh, bike with the brushless motor but anyway you're simply going to measure you know how far you need the wire cut it strip it and then uh crimp it into the connectors you can see i'm rigging up my main positive right now and the way how you're going to run these batteries when you're doing the 48 volt, it really doesn't matter how you position your batteries as long as if when you go in order of how you want to run it, your battery number one is going to be what your main positive comes off to, to the controller. And then you're going to go, you see me hooking it up now, and then you're going to go and take your negative from battery number one and connect it to the positive of battery number two, no matter where you position it or which battery you want it to be. And then so on and so forth until you get to your last battery, which will be your main negative, And you're going to connect that to your speed controller as well. So pretty simple. All right. So now that we've got all four of our batteries hooked up, we're going on uh, 48 volts now. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and see what kind of speed difference we get. All right. Here we go. 48 volts this is going to be our speed test. And this is still on the stock motor, stock everything. Just one more extra battery. You can hear the motor want to whine a little bit off the start. I think before on this bike we hit like 16. So you can see uh, 18, 8, 19. Almost 20 miles an hour, so no major increase just yet. I'm going to have to throw the brushless motor on and uh, see what happens next. So we're back. We're running 48 volts. Uh, top speed was only 20 miles an hour, so it may not seem like that much. Uh, but this bike was able to pull me up hills at about 17, 18 miles an hour, where before uh, it was tough to even hit 17 miles an hour. I got this thing real easily rigged up, guys. The only thing I really did was I added a little bit heavier uh, fuse connector, and I'm running a 40. But now, obviously, that we have our bike running, we're going to have to charge it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, here's actually a fuse off of the 500. And this was still with the 30 uh, fuse, and this actually burned up the connector, and this was when I still had it on 36 stock and everything like that. Anyway, so I went ahead. This is our charger I went and got online. Real easy to find. Uh, you can see it's a three-prong, and this is our stock one here. So if you look at our stock one, I don't know if you can see the wires, but the way how the wires are ran are to your two far points. So that's number one and two so top left is number one top right is number two and your bottom peg is actually number three so you can see this was ran one to two and on our new charger now you can see why i unscrewed the back clip you got another screw here as well you'll lift this rubber piece and you should be able to pop this up so anyway you can see if you were looking at that before remember number one it's top left, number two, top right, three is the bottom. So if you look on the back side, you can see this is ran from number one to number three. So we're actually going to be taking our brown from number three. I don't know if you can see our brown from number three and move into number two. I'm going to go ahead and just heat that up with the uh, soldering iron. Also, if you want it to, you could do this, you know, from the back side of your uh, charger port here. 
but you can see from the factory they glued it up and everything like that so i don't really want to screw around with that i'm going to go ahead and change it from the actual charger and this is the brand uh, connectors i went with like i said i just went and picked these up at a uh, local like advanced auto it's dorman i know i ordered this company for uh handles on my f-150 the plastic ones kept breaking but the steel ones seem to be holding up uh pretty good but anyway these were the two different things i got here this is simply a connector where you can crimp crimp and heat shrink that and then this were our uh, female battery you know terminal connectors all right guys so i got my iron on and literally uh just the quickest little bit of heat that popped off so fast i couldn't even get it on film all right so next we're just simply going to be moving this wire over to our number what is that again our number two all right all right there we go so i got the charger and re-soldered up nothing pretty but it's definitely holding more than a couple pounds of force there i'm pulling on it pretty good so i'm happy with it i'm going to go ahead and button the end of this uh, charger back up and get that thing ready to go i'm going to real quick just get a rig slap up this voltage meter all right so we got our little voltage meter rigged up i just simply took it from my main positive and stuck it in there and uh unclipped and stuck my negative into my main negative so now we got a reading on that we'll be able to hook this uh charger up i'm at 49.7 volts right now so now we'll be able to hook up our charger keep an eye and make sure it is charging properly again i'm just running into the stock speed controller i don't know if that's going to be an issue or not yet um, if it is though you're just simply going to be running your uh positive and negative right to your main positive and negative off of your charger uh, to your batteries okay so um like i said in the next video we will be getting into and hooking up this uh 1800 uh, watt version with the brushless motor so i'll go ahead and show you how to uh, rig this up um you know be able to hook up your charger get your voltage meter going right off of this that way it, it turns on and off right now this will actually kill my battery um so for right now since i got those wires jammed up in there I'm just going to simply unplug it from the back and now you just have, you know, your hot and your negative. So I got our charger hooked up and it looks like everything's going good so far. we got the red light letting us know we're charging. Um, I even got this voltage meter on here and you can actually see it starting to climb up as it's charging now. So uh, I think everything's fine hooking that up to the uh, stock speed controller. Also, we're going to go ahead and I take these bikes out tomorrow and we'll go ahead and get a drag race going, okay? Nah, not yet. Man, here we go, guys. 48 volts. You got your old bike on, man. He's on the 500. This is the 650 with four batteries. Well, you ready for a little drag racer, man? Get lined up. Oh, damn, JJ. Here we go. Well, go ahead. I'm waiting for you, even. Okay. I'm even lined up straight. Oh. From here to the cones. All right, waiting on you. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a slow start. We're going to uh, incline drag race. Uh-oh, the 650 starting to pull. Oh, man, it's starting to pull. Oh, man. So this is probably topped out. Again, guys, this is still stock everything. Just one extra battery. As you can see, we're gaining on them big time. Uh, so this will actually pull me up a hill faster probably than his bike will go. Just with one extra battery. Yeah, well, it's a good five mile an hour faster, maybe. All right, All right here we go. Now we're going to do one more downhill. pass downhill. We're going to go to the touch the bumper of my car. Uh, I'm going to stop. give you, I'm going to give you a, a three length jump, JJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, here we go. Wow. All right. Now my dad maybe has 10 pounds on me. Oh, JJ, let me get some drafted. Let's see if we can chase him down. Wow. <laughs> so I definitely had a couple mile increase to get longer ride time. Whoa! Oh, I don't have no brake. Oh, baby! But you're at least going to be able to pull uphill at your old top speed. So I definitely recommend this. You will get a little wide. 
at low RPM, you will get a little wind, okay? If you go ahead and go with a 48 uh, volt speed controller, you should take that out and you should even gain a couple mile an hour. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This really wasn't like a how-to video. I really didn't get into too much detail. I was pretty simple. Again, this was just basically getting our basis on our speeds. And uh, like I said, if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because next part two, we're going to be going in and doing the brushless motor and then possibly doing a 72 volt um, in the future. So stay tuned. We're going to be souping these two bikes up. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm not quite sure what we're doing next in this channel, but we're definitely going to be up to something here. i got plenty of uh, projects to do. i got a whole table loaded with parts to get put on the 500, my RM450. i got parts for the KTM. I even got parts for a 125 that you haven't even seen yet in this channel. So uh, make sure you stay tuned and keep the notifications on. <laughs> Wipe out, baby. See, so you gotta learn how to fall. When you're gonna slide out like that, hit, hit meat, thighs, butt, uh, shoulder, knees. Man, we're not even hurting. You know, as long as you stay away from those knees and elbows, knees and toes, you'll be all right. <laughs>